you know, I have a little story time, um, kind of have story time, but today was a pretty interesting day. Um, I woke up, you know, today's Sunday, I'm off, I'm free, and, you know, I was just in a good mood. I was in this corner, just minding my business, just, you know, in my own world, and this guy pulled up. Some editing tie here, here I am. I just realized that I forgot some key details of the story, so you're not going to really understand what I'm talking about. So, let me just, I don't even know where to look, I think I'll look here. Let me try to make the story make a little bit more sense. So, a couple of days ago, I was just out in downtown Brookville area. And I was just chilling in this little corner. I'm going to show you guys in a second. And this guy pulled up. And it wasn't just a regular, just regular guy, whatever. This guy actually, uh, he was in a wheelchair. Um, and I think he had, I believe he had one leg, if I'm remembering correctly. And basically, I, for some reason, decided to go buy him a slice of pizza and a Gatorade. Don't know why. When homeless comes up or whatever, I immediately just run away. But, you know, today I was just feeling very giving. And I gave back to the community. So, yeah, uh, I wanted to mention that because for some reason, I don't feel like I put enough detail. So yeah, the guy was homeless. Maybe I don't know. If he, I don't even know if he was homeless, but he did have one leg, and he was in a wheelchair. So yeah, okay, back to the video. So I was literally just standing in this corner, minding my business, and like a couple of days ago, this guy pulled up to me. Literally came around this corner, you know, like right here, right. And he was just like, yo, can you give me, like, something food? Like, okay, I had to stop recording because somebody came by. But he was just like, yo, can you give me something to eat? Like, anything. And, you know, I saw that right over there. You know, right? The pizza spot that I mentioned. I'm going to mention in the video. And I got him some pizza. So, you know, it's just... Term of events is crazy. And it wasn't just a normal guy. Well, I don't want to say normal. But it wasn't just a your average guy, you know, walking with a suit on or whatever, going to work. I don't want to make... Okay, I'm not trying to make a joke. You know, it was a, it was actually a very touching story. And, you know, he just, you know, looked at me and said, Yo, bro, can you help me with anything? And usually, I would immediately just... Which is not a good thing. But usually, I would just immediately, you know, disregard, just walk off, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, you are going to get approached at least 50,000 times, you know, in downtown, especially in Miami from homeless people, just people that just want to, you know, get some money from you or ask for something to eat. So eventually you get so used to it that you just, even though they're human, you know, these guys are human, these people are human. You just get to the point where you lose your humanity and you just don't give a fuck and you just say, I'm good, bro, leave me alone. I got things to do, I got my own problems, which granted is true, you know, we all have our own problems, but it is nice to help other people. But regardless, regardless, I'm sorry, I go on tangents. So this guy, he came up to me and, you know, he asked, yo, can you help me with anything? I'm really just hungry. I'm actually more thirsty than hungry, you know, I just, he give me anything. But, you know, I was not going to just go halfway. I was going to make sure that I got this guy, you know, a good meal and, you know, a good drink so he can, because, you know, I realized that, you know, I went through bad things. I was homeless at one point, if you guys don't know, if you are new to this channel, that did happen, which, it was tough. We are all still human, you know, and just because I'm in a better position than somebody else or, I don't know, just the times are just better for me, doesn't mean I should just look down upon them. Because like I said, they're human. We're all human. You know, that's your brother or sister or whatever. Like, we are all related in some way because we're all the same species. What am I saying? We're all the same species. So in a way, we're all related in some way. So there was this pizza spot near me that I went to. And the funny thing is, that was the pizza spot that me and Jerry wanted to go to like way back when we were homeless because it was right beside the parking lot that we had to live in. And, you know, we would walk by it, you know, going to CVS or whatever, and we would see it, and we would think, yo, one day, I want to go in there and get some pizza because, you know, at the time, we, bro, we wasn't eating, bro. We, we were like, we were just trying our best just to survive. So, so of course, you know, seeing that pizza spot, just the thought of eating something that wasn't candy or, you know, just straight fast food was mind-boggling. So it's kind of crazy that I decided to go there to get that guy you know, a pizza and um, a Gatorade. So yeah, that's what I got him. You know, you know, I basically told him, yo, give me one second, I got you. He was like, okay, man, just let me know, like, cause he, you know, he was genuinely just asking for a handout, like a handout, you know? You know, can you help me, blah, blah, blah. He wasn't trying to be malicious. He wasn't aggressive or anything. He was just like, oh, can you help me? If not, I completely understand. And you know, I'm not gonna look at you in the eye and say, nah, bro, I'm good. Like I just, well, I guess I would have done that in the past, but for, I just can't, especially if you come at me just in a nice way. Like, I just, okay, if I can, I'll try to help, you know, I'll do what I can. Even if I wanted to help somebody, I really couldn't. But recently, which is so crazy, like, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you would know that these past couple months, or not months, but these past couple weeks have been tough. Like, I got fired, 
and I didn't have any money for at least two months in Miami. Imagine living in Miami or any major city, having to pay rent, utilities, bills, whatever, and not be getting any like money like, coming in. Like you're just giving out money and you're not getting anything in return. Like it is so tough living in a major city and not having a job. Three or four, five paychecks without getting paychecks was not easy. You know, here in Jerry, yo, I got paid today and you know, I'm still at zero dollars. It was not good and I still got bills to pay, still gotta eat, it was fucking tough. So I went to the pizza spot, got the guy, um, I think it was a pepperoni pizza, pretty big slice. I'm actually go back to myself and go give me a slice because I'm not gonna lie, the pizza is low key, look good. They had one there with like buff, like barbecue sauce or buffalo sauce or whatever. And it looked delicious. Like I low key wanted to get something myself, but you know I'm not trying to spend all my money. Um, so I, I just got my guy pepperoni pizza. <coughs> I need something to drink. Hold on, I need something to drink. Put that down because bro, my throat, like my nose, everything is just killing me. I can't. I can't do this. Ah. Oh. All right, I got. I got some water. I don't know what's going on, man. This is like, I feel like, yo. Uh, okay, that's good. This is the first time that I've ever done something like this. And I don't know why. You know, when I did it and I was walking, I started thinking like, what changed in my life to make me so much more happy? Because I'm in a much better headspace than I was even just a couple months ago. I just have became a very happy person. And <clears throat> I tried to tell Jerry this. We had a conversation last night um, because we, I'm not glad we both got high. But for some reason, whenever he gets high, he has like his inner demons come out. And I don't know what that's about, but whenever I get high, I truly like just become so euphoric and so happy with myself and life and being where I'm at. But for him, it's like a complete, like it's the complete polar opposite. Like he begins, he gets angry, upset, mad at the world. And I don't know what that's about. Like it was so bad where he had to lay down because he was like clenching his fist and wanted to punch the TV. I don't know what the fuck that's about. But I really try to tell him that like, you really have to just come to yourself, find yourself and love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, there's no way in, I wanna say hell. There's no way in this world where anybody else is gonna love you because you gotta love yourself first. That's the most, beautiful thing and once you once you get that nothing affects you like he was getting upset because i have a little a little ding on the um <clears throat> the washing machine he goes like da -da 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 -da. like a little cute little dingle he was like oh it's annoying me like uh now to me i was like it's annoying like that's a beautiful sound somebody made that somebody engineered a way to put a little dingle in our dish not dishwasher i keep saying dishwasher i keep wanting to say dishwasher in the washing machine and to me, that's just beautiful. Like, somebody did that. And music's like, how's this upsetting you? He was just like, I don't know. It's just, it's annoying, blah, blah, blah. And I was just, everything for him, he saw in a negative way. Like, no matter what it was, the music could be beautiful. Oh, but this, this could be going on, but this annoys me. Like, but for me, everything, I let go. And I don't know if that's because I've just found inner peace. I don't know. I don't want to be one of those guys, spiritual. You know, inner peace, find your inner soul. I don't want to be one of those guys. I do think there's some truth to it because nothing affects me. I don't know how we got to this point in this video because we started off with the wheelchair and a guy in the bottom of the guy a piece of, but here we are talking about me triumphing life. I feel beautiful. I feel enthusiastic about just living my life. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, guys, I want you, I don't think I'm really putting into your brain how transformational this is for me because. For the longest time, even as a kid, I got called pessimistic, dark, quiet, blah, blah, blah. You name it. Every negative trait in the book. But now, people say Ty's so fun to be around. He's happy, energetic, energetic. I love this guy's energy. And that is so crazy because my whole childhood, I was literally the complete polar opposite. And now here I am. I don't know how I got here. I really don't. I guess it took a lot of personal development. Did I say develop it? Development. You can tell I'm sick. I'm really trying, I'm pushing these words. It took a lot of personal development and just me being by myself. No distractions. I deleted TikTok, deleted Instagram. I do have Instagram now. I don't follow anybody. If you go to my follower account, there's no hate to anybody, but I probably won't follow you just because I don't want to see other people's lives. That's not my own because I can't, seeing you do something fun or whatever you want to do, 
cool for you. You know, be happy. I don't, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to take that away from you, but how does that affect me? How does that gonna positively affect me? It can't, it doesn't. Unless like we're going out together. I got fired from my job. I, you know, it hurt, but I wasn't really upset. I was upset at first. I'll admit that. I was pretty bad. Like, uh, you could text my roommate and a couple of my coworkers. I pretty much said that, uh, fuck that bitch. You know, I, that's basically what I said. And, you know, <clears throat> at this point, if she, she ever does see this, somehow she still watches videos. She knows who she is. I don't hate you at all, you know. I actually want to say thank you. Thank you for, you know, helping me realize that, you know, in this world, you can really do anything in your, in your life because... I hate it. Well, I don't want to say I hated that job, but it was probably one of my most disliked jobs, and I felt like I was trapped. But until I got fired and got a new job, I didn't really realize that you can just you you can you can just do anything you want. Even though I should have, because technically I moved to Miami because I wanted to, so I should have already had this instilled in me. But it took something else, you know, me thinking that I had something and losing all of it like this, for me to realize that okay, things happen, but you can always. Do whatever you want. You know, with that, I think that's a beautiful place to end the video because I've been ranting. It's almost the camera limit. Actually, it's, it's the camera. So the camera limit did go. You know, if you did enjoy this video, thank you for watching. As I said before, you guys can probably tell through the voice and through the eyes. I look, I am sick. Not sick. I think it's just allergies. But for the past couple of days, I just haven't been feeling the best. So you guys do want to help Ty a little bit better subscribe like the video that is the most cliche thing ever you guys want to make me feel better like them yeah i love you guys though i'm sorry i'm sorry um i love you guys though see you in the next video i love you i said that already i am awful at intros you could probably tell i butcher every single one goodbye